five long sleeve shirts, two sweaters, three pairs of jeans and one pair of leggings, six short sleeve shirts, one raincoat, two scarves, sleepwear, undergarments and socks, four pairs of shoes, and a bunch of other random things. So today I wanted to talk to you about packing and show you some of the things that I brought with me uh, when I went on my last backpacking trip. That was about three and a half weeks in Europe. Uh, it was all pretty much similar climates. It was the fall, so it was a little bit colder. It was about 40s to 60s Fahrenheit. So to begin, let's see, I'll show you just um, some key items. Uh, this shirt, this shirt is pretty cool. It's like a long sleeve gray shirt, but then all you gotta do is, um, you know, a little one, two step, and now it's a whole new shirt. I think this is pretty cool because it's like two shirts in one, and, uh, you know, you get bored of your clothes when you don't bring that many things. I brought a lot of just, like, t-shirts, um... Well, not a lot. You, you saw all the things I brought in the intro. Um, I brought like this type of American Apparel v-neck shirt. The deep V is like one of my favorite t-shirts of all times. Uh, this one actually I got, I had a hole in it uh, and so I just, you know, put a, sewed a little pocket on and now it has some flair. That's a tip you can do too. Repurposing clothes that get ruined. I also brought a couple um, of shirts like this one. It's, uh, you know, for when I wanted to feel a little bit fancier, it's just like a t-shirt, but it feels fancier. Like uh, this one as well. It has like a zipper. Um, this one is nice uh, for going out. You can't really tell, but it has like some detail on the front. So I brought some tank tops like this. Uh, this is from Forever 21. It's like $2.50. It's so cheap. Uh, it's really nice just to, uh, I don't know, I like wearing these underneath my other shirts. I brought three pairs, two pairs of like jeans. I'm wearing one for the plane. Um, one pair of black jeans. These pants are from Forever 21 and they're like $11. They're so ridiculously cheap. They're like really some of my favorite pants. I like the fit. They're also really lightweight. They're really comfortable because they stretch. They're so small, they fit, they like scrunch down so tiny. They're excellent for packing. They're great for traveling. Uh, they're so cheap that if anything happens to them, you won't care. Uh, yeah, I really like them. A note on that for cheap things in general. Uh, when I travel, I like to, especially if I'm backpacking, I like to have cheaper things. I mean, hopefully no one will steal your stuff, but if your bag gets lost or if um, somebody steals your things or if you have like a huge spill and all your clothes get ruined, if they weren't that expensive to begin with, you really won't care that much. Um, and it's kind of just nicer not to have like the burden of all this really expensive stuff that you want to keep really nice. It's just, it's like you're going to not be as stressed out if you don't have nicer things. Um, I always like to bring scarves. Uh, this one I brought is like the main one I brought. It's just gray, so it goes with everything. It's a circle scarf, which is my favorite kind of scarf. Um, it's huge, so it's really nice, like, you can use it as a blanket on the train, you can use it as, like, a pillow, you can use it as a shawl, you can use it for a million different things. As a main coat, I brought this raincoat. It's really nice. I did a lot of research beforehand trying to figure out what type of coat to bring. So I ended up getting this one, and it's, like, kind of like a trench coat style. It's longer. It's like this, and then, uh, you're like, oh no, it's raining, you just pop open the hood. And the hood is really big. It was really nice and then it packed down really small so I could fit it in my bag. I'm going to do another video about what I bring in my toiletry bag and I, I just didn't want to make this video any longer than it already is. So that will be in another video. Look out for that. Um, I put all of my like socks and undergarments in these bags so that they're easy to find. Um, they're all contained. I always bring a bag like this for uh, dirty clothes. 
uh, just it's nice to keep them separate. You nobody wants those to be mingling. I always have a, a bag like this. I keep this around with me in my daily life all the time. It just comes in so handy. It's so small, and then it opens up to like this big bag. Um, when you're traveling, uh, you can use it for so many things. Like I'll use it if I'm going to go take all my dirty laundry to get washed. Or if you're out shopping and you don't, you know, you want to carry more things. Or like if you're going in a hotter climate and you go to the beach, it's a great beach bag. Um, so many things. It really comes in handy. I always bring a, a travel towel. Now, this one is particularly small. Yeah, I mean, it's only this big. <laughs> But actually, this was definitely big enough. In the hostels, uh, there's usually like a little changing area in the shower stall. So, like I wasn't walking around wearing nothing but this, but um, I just use it to pat myself dry and it was perfectly fine. As far as shoes go, um, I brought four pairs of shoes. Uh, I probably could have got gotten away with just having three and one of the pairs I brought was flip-flops uh which if you're staying at hostels you should definitely have these for the showers if it was warmer climates you could wear them just as another pair of shoes the pair of shoes I wore most were these boots these aren't real leather but what I like about them is that they're completely waterproof um they're super lightweight they're comfortable They've held up really well, like I'm kind of surprised. I wear these all the time in New York too. Like these are my favorite shoes to wear. They're so comfortable and just they go with everything and I really like them. I also brought these boots, these black tall boots. These are also not real leather and so they're lightweight. They like fold really nicely and they're waterproof. They're comfortable as well. I um, didn't wear these as much as the other ones, but they're nice, like they're nice for going out at night, um, going to like bars and clubs and all that jazz. And the fourth pair of shoes I brought were these ballet flats. Now, I only wore these once, so in retrospect, I might not have brought them. I mean, they were kind of nice to just have because you always think, oh, maybe I'll want to wear those. I always like to bring a travel pillow. I think it's really nice, well, obviously on the airplane, on the long flight. Um, but also when you're on buses and trains, it's just, I feel like it's so much more comfortable to have one of these with you. Always remember to bring all your chargers. Uh, uh, an adapter if you need one. I did something I knew and I put washi tape on all of my chargers so that, you know, a lot of times people have the same exact charger and so I always knew which ones were mine. It's not necessary, but I thought it was kind of fun. <laughs> okay, so I bring uh, this kind of lock. You can use it, um, I use it to lock up the zippers on my bag because uh, it doesn't have a lock. Um, it's really nice. You can also lock it to things with this, uh, and then also just a regular lock. Um, you can use it uh, for lockers in the hostel or, um, I don't know, a lot of things. Just always make sure you have locks because you never know when you might need them. I always like to have sunglasses because I like sunglasses. Uh, umbrella, always good to have. Um, I always like to have my Kindle. It's always nice to have reading material. The, I have the Kindle Fire so I can use it for the internet. I like to usually have a, a regular book as well. I also always like to bring a notebook and pens. You can use it for journaling. You can use it to take notes about like hostels. So many things always comes in handy. Cards. I, don't, I always like to have cards. I carry these around in my regular life as well. For my money and things, I use this little pouch from American Apparel. I think it's just like, um, it's a nice size. I use this kind of pouch for my passport and things like that. I use this for all my documents, like copies of a passport. Um, now make sure when you bring copies of your passport, keep them separate from your actual passport because if you lose one thing, you don't want to lose them both. I bring this kind of small purse for like going out or just if I don't want to have that much stuff. It's nice. It has some zippers. So I use this purse. I really liked it. Um, it held a lot. It was really cute. However, it just broke the other day and I'm so sad. 
it was a really, it was like the perfect traveling bag because um, it's big, but then you can also fold it over and it would be small. The bag that I brought um, all my stuff in is this backpack. It's from eBags. I bought it in like 2008, I think. So I'll try and find it and link it below. But it's so nice. It's It looks small, but it holds a lot. It opens this way, which is really nice. It's like a suitcase. And it is carry-on, which is so nice. Like, I, I just prefer to have carry-on things. Some of the smaller airlines, you'll probably still have to check it. But the bigger flights, um, you can carry it on. It has, like, a mesh pocket here. It has, um, in the front, it has, like, a million other pockets. It's just really nice. And I like how small it is. It kind of forces me to not pack as much stuff as I want to pack. So for like three to four weeks, I say this bag is perfect. I also took it to Thailand when I went for three weeks, I took the same bag. Now, if you're traveling for like months or a year, it's probably not gonna be big enough because especially if you're going through a lot of different climates and I was just in one climate, it was perfectly fine. Um, and I, I mean, I do think though, in general, you can always have less stuff than you think you need. I used to always be like the hugest overpacker, and now that I've started packing less, I'm so much happier when I'm traveling because it's just less of a burden. It's just when you're trying to decide what to wear for that day, you have you don't have that many options, so it's like really easy to make choices. When I pack, I put everything in these Ziploc bags. Usually, I use the kind where it's like um, a slide zip thing. Um, but this is what I have at the moment. It's, it's really nice because everything you want, it's see-through, so you can find everything really easily. It's like a vacuum seal thing, so once you put, you roll your clothes, put them in, um, you, like, let all the air out, and their clothes pack down so small. It's crazy how small things will get once they're in here. But they make, you know, certain packing cubes or different um, products that you can buy. Um, although I just really like these. I think they're nice because you can bring like a bunch of extra with you and then you've, if you have wet clothes or something, you can use them for that. I don't know, I just like them. The only thing I would say that is was not great about them is that when you're in the hostel and you're in a room with other people and they're sleeping and you're trying to get some things like in your bag it's like all oh, like sounds like that so just be aware try and be nice and don't make too many sounds like that I usually set aside all the things I want so I won't have to like get into the bags anyways like I'll, I'll do another video about that later about staying in hostels but um yeah try and just you know always just be courteous Okay, so I put all of my clothes into the bags. Long sleeve shirts, jeans and pants, short sleeve shirts, tank tops, scarf. tips for traveling and that's what I brought on my three week European fall backpacking trip. Um, if you have any specific questions about items or things, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll try and answer. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. So I look forward to seeing you again and happy travels and happy packing.